welcome to Rockbourne Trout Fishery here in Hampshire near Fording Bridge. Uh, it's a beautiful fishery, there's five or six lakes here to try today. Um, we've had a lot of rain all night and in the morning it's just literally this afternoon dried up um, so it's going to be uh, challenging conditions. Today we're going to be fishing with a floating line, it's a six seven weight floating line on a fly rod and we're going to be fishing about a 12 feet six pound trace and attached to that we're going to be using one of my festive flies and I'll just show you a close up of this one. Um, there's the fly, you can see that. It's um, got a uh, bauble head, it's got tinsel uh, fritzy bottom and it's got um, like a Christmas tree look to it. I don't know if you can see that, <laughs> it looks a bit like a Christmas tree and that's what I'm trying to catch today is uh, a trout on the Christmas tree festive special. Barbless hooks. There's uh, average fish in here is about two and a half to three pounds. There's a few four and fives and there are a few brownies as well. So we'll give it a shot and see how we get on. Getting some movement in this particular oak lake and the trout are coming towards this top, which is kind of making me think seriously about presenting a daddy long leg from the top. It might be worth a, a go, see if they come up and take it. In fact, I will change to a daddy and let's see if we can get some action off the top. Can but try. Oh, fish following. It's following, it's still following. Oh, just near the edge there, do you see that? Oh, it follows it. It follows it all the way. We're in. And it's, oh, it came off. It was a biggie as well, that four pound fish. Oh, look at that. That's like nymphing. I hope you got that action. I had it just lightly hooked, came out of the water and just jumped the hook. So it following, it's back in the water again. Do you see that? If you get a follow and you're following, you're retrieving too quickly for the fish to hit it, it's well worth putting it back in again. I mean, that was just explosively, explosive take there. I mean, that was, oh, near the surface as well. See the action there. I think the dry fly, it does want the dry fly here. See, we're in the end of November, but the fish are coming up toward the surface. They're following. So you had a decent sized fish follow in there and just lost it. Ah, that's quite annoying. That was a good one. That looked like a four or five pounder. Hello, another one. Yeah, okay, I'm putting the dry fly on. They, they are coming up and they're surfacing in this pool. So let's try the dry fly. Right, well, this is my selection of dry flies to try. The one I I'm tempted by is, let's have a look, which one should I try? They all look good, that looks like a natural looking daddy. What about that, we'll give that one a go? Daddy long legs? I think so, let's try that one. We'll try the uni knot, my favourite knot in the book. And when we've done that we'll go out and we'll see if we can hit one on the surface here. So that's the, the daddy that we're going to be trying. It's very natural looking. And that's the one we're going to try. It's the daddy long legs dry fly. Natural looking one. And we'll try and keep it on the top now. See if we can get some action on the top. There are fish surfacing in this pool. So amazingly with a dry fly, I can work the fly line better because it's so much lighter. There it is. See that? There's a fish rising behind it. But I've just put that on the surface to see whether we can tempt the trout onto it. And I'm just going to see if anything is prepared to take that. The wind's blowing it, it's drifting, there's fish surfacing over there. Come on Mr Trout, are you up for this? I'm not going to twig it yet, I'm going to leave it there. Dang it, there's a fish behind it surfacing. There's two behind it. fishing. Dry fly fishing is patient fishing. I might nudge it a little bit. I'm just going to let it drift naturally. I'll straighten the line up a little bit. And maybe give it one little nudge. Just to let the trout know that it's there in case they haven't seen it going on the water. The one, oh there's a fish to the left of it. Let's dry it off and away we go again. Let's go. 
Might still be there. Come on, out we go. Out we go. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, I just spooked a fish. I just spooked a fish. I should have put the rise further. I went over the rise. That was a nice fish as well. I spooked him. And he sat there waiting for the fly to, drop, to, to go down again. And bang, my line hit it instead. I'll leave it there just in case any of my fish shows an interest. But I've got fish showing an interest in the dry fly now. It's good. It's exciting. And here come the rains. That could make it twice as hard. Because now they can't see the fly actually hitting the water when it's raining. Oh, there's a follow. Oh, let's take it. We're in. We're in. He took the dry fly. Oh, and it's a torpedo. It's a torpedo. It's going like the steam clappers. Oh, he's stripping line. Whoa. I'm going to have to follow it, I think. I'm going to need the net. Oh, he's taking me down. Oh, he's, he's, he's whipping off down there. I'm going to have to follow it. He's, I'm onto the backing. Oh, Goodness me, he just took the dry, dry fly right at the end. I'm going to follow it. I'm going to have to follow this fish. Oh. Right, I'm going to go around the reeds. I don't know where he's gone. He's going into the reeds. He's still on. Wow, that's an exciting sport for us. Now he's taking us into the reed bed. He's dug down deep. He's still on though. I can feel him. A good fish. Boy, he strips in line. Has he got any more left in him? No. What? This is a good fish. On the dry fly. Oh, he's gone up. Here he comes. Come on. Here he comes. He's taking a hell of a lot of line. Oh, he feels big. He feels strong. He's coming up. He's coming towards us. Wow. Look at that. On the dry fly. Just nudging it, just to say, whoa, this is a goodie, this is a good fish. What? He's stripping me clean in this bay. He's coming towards me. I hope we're getting this on camera. But yes, whoa, this is a biggie. This is a good fish, I can feel him. He wants to take me into the reeds, he's taking me into the far bank. I hope you're getting this. He's coming towards us. Here he comes. Wow, what a fish. What a fish. Got the bend in the rod. He's coming towards us. He's come up. Where is he? He's a fighter. He's a spirited fighter. Oh, he wants to go again. He's going again. He's stripping line. I've got to keep him away from the reeds. Come back, come back. Wow. He is taking off like a good one. I'm going to have to follow him. Oh, no. Keep him away from the reeds. Oh, dearie me, this fish is fighting well. Backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. On the dry fly. Oh, back in the original swim where I took him. He's coming towards us. Here he comes. Whoa, he's, he's going again. This one's fighting like a torpedo. Boy, is it taking off. Right. Whoa! You can see the power to him. Whoa! He's fighting really well. The rockborn trout, don't, I, don't they go well? Don't they go well? The rainbow. Now, if I can steer him away from those reeds. Here you he come. He's coming to daddy. Here he comes. Good fighting fish. I think he's about three and a half, four. And there he is. Thank you very much. On the dry fly. There we go, four pound rainbow from Rockbourne, dispatched, put up a great fight, finage, perfect tail finage, lovely colour, beautiful fish, very sporty, and that was caught on Oak, uh, Oak Lake here at Rockbourne, an absolutely superb fish, very good hard fighting fish as well, so enjoyed that, taking on the daddy's dry fly, very very pleasing indeed.